Hickok 45 here with a firearm Glock 47 that has never been fired, at least in my experience. So it's one of those days we're just going to take the first shots right here with you all, provided it'll fire. Okay, let's try it out. Let's start out smoking some pot. All right, it works so far. In a cloud of dust. Didn't see the target. <laughs> Let's see if it's gong worthy. Or if I'm gong worthy with it. All right. Through the dust. <laughs> okay. Generally speaking, new firearms will work. And it's rare that I've ever picked up a Glock, new one or otherwise, it did not work. So the Glock 47, uh, a few of you asked about it. Wanted uh, to get our opinions on it. And <laughs> it's been out and uh, there have been a lot of opinions about it. Uh, pro and con, uh, a lot of folks wonder what in the world is Glock doing? You know, they just sort of reissued the Glock 17, it looks like, right? Yeah, sort of, sort of what it is, isn't it? And, uh, <laughs> you know, we needed another Glock 17, but it is a Gen 5, okay? Well, what's the difference between a Gen 5 Glock 17 and this Glock 47? Uh, not a lot, not a lot. But I saw Bud's had some, you know, and so one of y'all had requested it, and I, uh, I went to their website and saw they had them. And I thought, I might as well shoot that thing. It's one I haven't fired and uh, see what the differences are exactly. And, uh, you know, go from there. Shoot it. Uh, Those folks. And you notice the holster I pulled out. It was an Alabama holster. It's, uh, it's actually for Glock 19, but it, it's working okay for the day. This is uh, one of their belt holsters. I'm always telling you about their belt holsters because I use their pocket holsters mostly. But I, I like this belt holster. It's very kind of a minimalist. It's kind of nice. So we appreciate alabamaholster.com for their support of the channel. And I just am tempted to shoot some more. I really am. Look at all those magazines with bullets in them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it, it seems to shoot. It, it does. Let me let me make sure. It, it does seem okay. Okay. It's essentially the configuration of a Glock 17, right? Looks like it's very accurate at long range, right? Right there. What about you, cowboy? Yeah, feels pretty good. Well, it hit the buffalo, but it's only a nine millimeter. There we got him. He took two hits. Two hits. Yeah. <laughs> We all know uh, Glock 17. My first Glock was a Glock 17. It's a choice I made in the 80s when I bought my first Glock. And it was easy to make because it was the only one out there. But this is a 47. Now, feel free to share as you always do, whatever. Uh, yeah, there's snide remarks about the Glock 47. And of course, if you're a Glock hater, uh, they all are the same, right? Uh, yeah, it's a Gen 5, basically. You got your uh, your MOS, you know, for optic, and you know your do it no, no finger grooves, your beveled magazine. Well, all the things the Gen 5 Glocks, you know, have uh, uh, ambidextrous slide locks, and uh, was it MBS barrel with standard rifling, uh, supposedly very accurate. Uh, so you got all that that the Gen 5 guns have. But there's there's another difference though, and. Uh, this was the basically the firearm that was uh, made for the uh, Customs and Border Patrol. Okay, I don't know what model they called that that one or whatever. But this is this is basically the firearm for for them that the Glock made. Okay, and in that sense, it makes a little more sense. Uh, and I, I'll explain why. Uh, a lot of people have really, really trashed the, the gun, of course, uh, and the reason for it and all that, and no reason for it, you know, uh, and, and not a lot. But I, I can see if you don't have any, say you don't have a Glock, and I know there's some poor souls out there like that, 
And there's some happy souls out there like that because they hate clocks and wouldn't want one in the house. Uh, but say you're just getting into firearms and you just, for whatever reason, you were at range, shot somebody's Glock and you fell in love with them and you made all the Glock haters sick, right? <laughs> And you decided, oh man, I love those things. I need a Glock 19 and a 17 at least, and I'll go from there. Maybe a 45, Glock 45, and maybe a Glock 19X or whatever. You just really like 9mm, and you really like Glocks, you've learned. And you don't, you don't have any yet. Or maybe you got some random Glock. Well, for that person, for you, this might make more sense. And the reason is, uh, you have that modularity, and that's what apparently the Border Patrol wanted and lots of agencies like that because a lot of agencies will adopt uh, as you might have noticed or there's a secret service or anybody navy seals you name it if they adopt the glock uh, they, they'll adopt the glock 17 and then maybe the 19 for some agents you know some purposes uh, maybe people who are maybe in our office more most of the time they don't want as big a firearm or something they might even uh, adopt and, and approve the 17 the uh, 19 and the 26 for non-Glock people. That's a small, really small one, baby Glock, uh, compact, and then the larger one. So depending on what somebody's doing, someone's rarely in the field, maybe the Glock 26, because they're supposed to be armed or whatever, small one. Okay, well, if you're an agency and you're making that adoption all you know at one time, which is most likely, I guess, then maybe you, you do value the modularity. And here's what I mean by that fancy word. This uh, slide you can take off and you could put a Glock 19 slide on it. Here's a Gen 5 uh, Glock 19, okay? I can actually you know, put that slide on here and guess what that turns it into? You people who know Glocks well, you know what that is, even though it doesn't say it on the slide. That is a Glock 45, isn't it, basically? Now forget caliber, we're talking all nine millimeter for new people. Uh, the Glock 45 is a 9mm that has a, the long grip and then the mid-size slide, okay? And uh, so it enables you to do that. And you end up with something like the Glock 45 or the 19X. If you have a 19X, you can put that slide on here, on this big frame, right? Uh, what else? Uh, no, Glock 7. So at least three slides you can put on there. Glock 17. Uh, well, this is the 47, but the same as a, a Gen 5 Glock 17 slide, uh, 19X, Glock 19, they'll all fit. Now, some of you are thinking, well, and no kidding, you know, why wouldn't they? And that always been the case. Well, it really has not, you know, and I had, uh, I guess I was aware of that, but I just hadn't thought about it that much. I've got some fourth generation guns out here, and see, you cannot do that with a fourth generation gun. The, uh, and I guess third and second or any of them, I suppose, the locking block, on the Glock 17 is different from the 19. It's not just a shorter firearm, okay, or a shorter slide. It's a different locking block, and you can look in there and you can you can tell, okay. So I cannot put take the 17 slide off and then put the 19 slide on on the earlier generations. All right. Now, if I'm misspeaking, let me know. I actually tried that to verify myself. I don't know if there's any generations where that wasn't the case, but I don't think you could with any of them. Okay, so if we adopted the Glock, you know, a few years back, and I'm an agency and I want to have, uh, you know, have all sizes, you know, agents, office personnel, whoever, uh, can, can you know, choose which one they want, uh, or we tell them, it doesn't matter. Uh, they were not as compatible, not as modular. Eh, maybe that's not all that essential, but one of the cool things about that would be if you're the armorer for that agency, think about it, all these use the same... Uh, well, same com components for the most part, like the uh, recoil spring is the same, you know, and parts, they use locking blocks and all that kind of thing. So parts break and replacing things, worn out parts, whatever it might be, it's really like one gun, uh, you know, essentially, and you're just uh, replacing parts. You need to replace a locking block, that's this piece right here. I actually broke one of those uh, after many, many thousands of rounds in a Glock 23 once. Uh, it's the same locking block and you know all that same recoil spring like this is the 47 and the 19 They have the same recoil spring exactly and that sort of thing. So So with the 47 they just change the the slide and, and everything to where it it will accommodate the, the same spring and all that sort of thing Okay, so I don't know if you see a lot of value in that or if anybody does but 
I, I see some value, uh, even for an individual. If, again, you had not been into Glocks, and, you know, there'd be some advantage to getting the 47 and then having the 19. And Now, if you got down to a 26, I don't think a 26 would work. One of the things that the dust cover, see, is shorter on the, uh, this is the 47, right? Yeah, this is, the, the dust cover is not as long, you see, as it is on the old Glock, or the Glock 17. Okay. So that al allows, so it's basically a Glock. It is, I think, a Glock. 45 frame sort of mouse seat. Okay, so hopefully I didn't confuse you too much on that, but it does make it more modular. And that that's its claim to fame, whether that would be of any advantage to you or not. Uh, in some ways that, you know, I, I have thought, you know, we've learned, I think, from the Glock 43X. We Glock people. <laughs> uh, I'm a SIG people too and everything else, but we have learned that a, a large frame with a shorter slide is really uh, nice to shoot. You know, the Glock 43X, the 19X, I think everybody discovered those were more uh, ergonomic and shootable than anybody knew. Yeah, I mean, really, uh, those were not really the thing unless someone did some of their own modifications back in the 80s, 90s, or whenever. Uh, that has been a uh, just a, a big discovery. I think they sell a lot of 45, Glock 45s and 19Xs and 43Xs and other guns, firearms uh, companies have done the same thing. You know, take the, the mid-range slide, put it on the big frame. So I, I thought myself, you know, well, I, I, maybe I, I have a lot of Glocks. I like them. Maybe I shoot a Glock 45 sometime, you know. And uh, I don't know how available slides are. I don't know if Glock just sells a whole slide or, or aftermarkets do. But, you know, if you had a 47, then you could just make it into a 45 very easily, couldn't you? Of course, I could because I've got this Gen 5. I would have to buy a 47 <laughs> to get that shorter dust cover and everything and the locking block. And I could just switch this slide onto here very simply uh, with the same frame. Let's say especially if I really like the trigger. And it does have a decent trigger. I could make this my 19 or my 17, quote unquote, anytime I wanted. You know, the same, same frame. I don't know if the same value to you. All right. So I don't know what I'm leaving out there, but that's that's kind of the almost the only real value, I guess, in this. Uh, it is a Gen 5, and some of you prefer a Gen 5 over a Gen 4. I don't necessarily. Some things about it I like. I like the no finger grooves okay, but um, I don't necessarily like the finish uh, on these. So that's kind of what that's about. Let me take a couple shots. Well, you know what I should do? Wow, just to prove what I'm talking about. Maybe it'll help me answer. Do I really want a, a Glock 45? Okay, we, we fired them in the 19X and everything. Let's just make it a 45. Glock 45. Pretend it doesn't say 19 on there. How's that? Okay, and of course they all take Glock 17 magazines. Imagine that. Or is it a Glock 47 magazine? I don't know. I don't know what numbers mean anymore. Let's go out to the gong. Let's see if the Glock 19 slide is uh, more accurate. Not without ammo in. Oh, it's getting dark over there. All right, let me uh, change my sight picture here a little bit. I'm not sure where I'm going. I'm going to hold a little higher. There we go. That was the problem, I guess. So, you might have a different side picture slightly with the different slide. That makes sense to most of you, wouldn't it? <laughs> wouldn't matter up close and dirty, of course. Uh, with those 80 yard shots, you'd need to be aware of that. So, uh, let's try it again with a little more ammo. <laughs> Woohoo! Gotta love it. Right, let me uh, bear down on a something and see how. It's got a, a blank space on it here. 
Okay. Uh, I don't know. I guess it hits pretty much right on uh, at close distance. I was trying to see if it shot significantly high or low. So anyway, that would be a Glock 45, com you know, comparable to it, even though it says 19, right? So uh, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. You have that capability if it appeals to you, if it's important to you. And uh, I guess, am I wrong? If I were going to buy a Glock 17 Gen 5, if I didn't have one, if you're a Glock person or uh, a Glock person to be, and you decide you wanted a Glock 17 and you didn't really care which generation and you were okay with buying a, the newest Gen 5 generation, uh, I don't know. I guess it'd make sense to buy a 47, wouldn't it? Why not? Yeah, it seemed like that might make the most sense. And uh, then that way, if you did get a Glock 19 or whatever, you'd have a Glock 19, a Glock 45, and a Glock 17, you know, different configurations, unless there's a downside to it that people have discovered that I'm not aware of yet. I, I, I don't know. So, so just to prove that that does work, uh, with that slide, locking block and everything, 47. You gotta be sober to keep all these numbers straight, don't you? Yeah. The only reason I don't drink during videos. <laughs> that was a joke. Y'all know that. We'll shoot another mag here. And uh see and I think they sell for what about six six fifty, six and a quarter, depending on where you buy your Glocks. You know, everybody knows these things and their pricing and all that. They've been around forever. And I think I pointed out the main thing. Now it does come just with your standard uh polymer sights which i've never had trouble with a lot of people like to bash those i think it's even a pretty good sight picture and uh you know your marksman barrel and that kind of thing and you got one thing i like about the gen 5s there are some things i do like the contoured front you know and the serrations up here are, are fine pretty good grip uh yeah That's not bad most of them i think have a decent trigger all right we'll shoot one more mag and get you out of here it's not late in the day, it's just kind of cloudy, which is actually good, but makes it darker over there. Let's uh, see if we can hit that ram. All right. Must be that marksman barrel, you know? And how about the red plate on the left? All right. Is that marksman barrel? No doubt about it. How about that red bowling pin down here? All right. <laughs> you just want to keep shooting. You know, when you have a, uh, a Glock or any polymer pistol that has a decent trigger, uh, they're just fun to shoot. Again, it, you know me, I love the 1911s and all those things. And we still have some Neanderthals out there who like only 1911s or wood and steel guns. And uh, if you haven't tried any of these modern pistols yet, you ought to try one at some point. Just go rent one at a range. And when uh, no one knows who you are, it's late at night, no one will see you, you won't be embarrassed. Rent a Glock and just try it out. <laughs> so the Glock 47, uh, again, it was uh, you know designed pretty much for the uh, Customs and Border Patrol. And, and then it was available on the commercial market I don't know what a year ago or something like that whatever that's been and uh that's what you got it was to uh kind of get the same configuration in terms of the locking block and all that so it'll take the same recoil spring into parts and i can see as an armorer for a department of some sort that that would make their life uh you know much much simpler you know and you know well maybe even in the field you know if uh you're in the field as a military operation whatever it might be you know or my recoil spring will work in your firearm and you know that can always be good so anyway if you know any more about it that's really important to know uh you know share it so and for those folks who hate glocks uh, i know i'm sorry it's just disgusting and look at a table with four glocks on it you know ugly polymer magazines just terrible you know one thing else can i do this before we go i almost forgot i'll make this quick i forgot to try hollow points didn't i yeah, I got some, uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if I thanked Widener's.com, our new ammo sponsor. Either. Where's my uh, loader? There it is. Uh, yeah, Widener's.com. Check the description for, uh, you know, the name and 
uh, the discount code Hickok45. Save you a little money, and uh, it's in every description and every video. And this is some, uh, who is this? This is Underwood, yeah. Yeah, I almost forgot I was going to shoot some uh, holler points at it. Yeah, you thought I was gone, didn't you? Okay. You thought I was gone. Let's just make sure it'll fire a holler point. So that since we've got a slightly different, what, slide or locking block and all that kind of thing. All right. Yeah. Let's see if these will expand on the gong. Yeah, I'll bet it did. I'll bet it did. See if it'll expand on the cowboy. Yeah. I can sort of tell by the way they hit, they expanded. So I'll let you go. Glock 47, you got anything to add to that? Uh, what you think of it? Would you buy one or... You know, I don't. I, it, I know if you're a Glock hair, you wouldn't. But if you kind of like Glocks, you're thinking about a Glock 17 uh, Gen 5. Would you get this instead? Does that make sense? I don't know. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, While well, I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes. Uh, grips can you believe it uh, for all different types of firearms you can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture uh, it just sticks right on there you know really affordable really cool option to in, improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com you'll be glad you did and also ballastol uh, dad has been using ballastol for many years it's a cleaner and a lubricant and it's non-toxic uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastall.com, talongungrips.com, and also while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.